Welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Mrs. Lawson and I am so very glad that you are here to learn with me today. Today's learning goal is to make a bar graph. We've done this before so you are going to be so great at it. Today's graph is about apples and what kind of apples you like and what kind of apples I like. It's not going to be much of a graph if we only put down what one person likes. So when you're asking your friends or family, see how many different opinions you can get. Ask as many people as you can if they like red or green or yellow apples. Well, I'm going to start my graph. I like red apples. My favorite are called gala apples. They're yummy. But one of my sons really likes Granny Smith apples and they're green. One of my other sons really likes red apples, but not gala. I think he likes Fiji apples. And they're red too. Hmm. Some people like yellow apples, especially for baking. I'm going to fill in this graph a little bit more and then we are going to take a closer look at it. All right, class, let's take a look at this graph. Can you see what color apple was the favorite of the most people? Yes, you're right, it is red. How many people liked the red apple? Mm-hmm, you got it, it's four. What was the second most favorite apple? Yes, it's the green one. How many people liked green? Yes, it was three people. And which apple was the least favorite? Yes, it was the yellow apple. Only one person said that that was their favorite. Now, your graph is going to look much different than mine. Take some time to ask people's opinions, collect their data, and use that information to fill in your chart. Oh class, thank you so very much for learning with me. I hope that you have fun filling in your bar graph with lots and lots of information. Take some time to think about the graph and what you can learn from it. I hope that you have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye.